Oh hi, I didn't see you there. I'm the Zyke. And last month I posted a video and now I don't have any content to post. So I'm gonna milk this video by making this video about how I made that video. So I'll be explaining the recording and editing process. And don't buckle your seatbelts because this is nothing special. But if you're still here, let's just jump right into it. Step one, plan your video. You can't make a good movie without any preparation. So think about your video, what will it be like? In my case, I made it about change and how I started going to the garage to train because I couldn't afford a gym membership, even though that's kind of hypocritical because I actually go to the gym myself, but that's the video purpose, that's the story it sells. So think about a story for your video. That's the first step. Step two, write a script. Now you don't have to be an excellent writer like Shakespeare or for example Lil Pump but for me it took about 20 minutes to write this and uh, here's the whole script in its entirety so write a script so step 3 imagine all the videos in your head you want to make uh, a plan uh, of all your shots that you're gonna record so when you're actually recording the videos it's easier because you can write stuff down and it will make your life so much easier also plan a location uh, in my case, it was my luxurious garage. So yeah, you can think of anything you want to record. Where do you want to record? It's up to you. So step four is get a camera and start recording. I use the Canon 60D camera. If you want to get this camera for yourself, then buy it. So of course, on the other side, I got my GoPro Hero 8, which I use for these types of videos. Because I don't want to really use my Canon 60D, that's more for cinematic stuff. But yeah, both cameras are good, I would suggest both of them. Oh my god, he on X Games mode. So you can record on your own using a tripod, but preferably I would uh, suggest asking a friend, your parents, neighbor or even your dog to record for you. Because footage from a human being will always look better than if you would just put it on a tripod. Make sure you use the person who's recording you to your advantage, so don't just sit still and record, like move around, do some cinematic shots, just make, the, make use of it. Always re-record clips that you don't deem to be perfect, because sometimes when you're recording, you look like you're gonna kill yourself, and then you just wanna make the video perfect, so you don't look like you wanna kill yourself. So yeah, if, if your scene has a different outcome from what you expected, Make sure to re-record that until you just get it down perfectly because you want to make your video as perfect as possible. Step 5. Record your B-rolls. People keep forgetting to record B-rolls like it could save your movie. If you're wondering what a B-roll is, it's basically a supplemental uh, shot that uh, integrates with the main shot. So it's kind of like filler. Like, it's very important that you record. I'm going to show you. So let's say, for example, I want to make a b-roll of this wooden katana. I'm going to show you how that looks now. So always make sure to take b-rolls of random scenery outside or objects. So it kind of fills up the story with filler. It will make your video much more entertaining, trust me. So now that you're done recording the video, it's time to get to the editing process. So I want my video to have a color gradient. I want black bars at the top and at the bottom. And I want subtitles following my hands on the screen wherever I go. And you can do all of this in your editing software. It takes some time to learn all of it, of course. So I use Adobe Premiere Pro 2019 to edit my videos. And if you're gonna ask me how I got it, I will say that I definitely bought it using my own money. And in no way, shape or form would I ever pirate this application? So basically, this is how my last video looked and I won't bore you with editing tips because the video will be an hour long. So if you're looking for something specific in your editing software, I would suggest uh, looking up a tutorial. It took me some time to learn how to use Adobe, but it's possible for you to learn it as well. So anyways, that was all. I hope you found at least something helpful. If not, I'm actually not surprised. But hey, like, comment, and subscribe, and have yourself a Merry Christmas. 
and a happy new year. I'll see you in my next video after two years.